Oh, welcome back to the Papa Meat channel. How you doing? How you doing? Just a quick update. Come on in and sit on down. I forgot that part. I was struck by a vehicle. That's not a lie. There's a photo of it. I posted a photo online because I was in the ambulance going to the hospital and I saw a bunch of comments on DMs, people texting me and then like a Reddit post and comments online and stuff like that. And I just wanted to publicly put out there and say this story and let you all know immediately that I'm all right. I was in the hospital for a bit. I'm home, I'm fine. Only my leg is fucked up a little bit. My truck completely totaled. <laughs> all in all, very good, very healthy, so it's fine. Just to give you a rundown of what happened, I was at an establishment meeting up with one of my YouTube buddies, Imp Lemon. Don't know if you guys know him. He makes fantastic videos. If you haven't watched his videos, please check him out. And I was getting out of my truck. One foot was out of my truck on the ground. My truck was completely parked, completely turned off. And as I was getting out of my truck, a car just bulldozed the side of my truck, pushing me into the parked car next to me and pinning my leg, crushing my left leg, which is a bit of a surprise. Kind of expect to get out of your car and just kind of casually walk up to an establishment and not have your fucking life flash before your eyes. I was in immediate shock. I mean, like when people, the, the adrenaline was pumping, I was in complete and utter shock. I looked down and saw my leg pinned with the step stool that's on a truck that was pushing my leg and pinning it to the car next to me, completely pinned. And I, in my shock state, was like, okay, that's completely broken. There's no way. As I was pinned, I kind of just kept going like, oh, fuck. Because oh, I was scared and nervous and I didn't really know how to process the anger emotions I have because also side note I'm moving in two weeks and I needed this truck to move my stuff and my immediate thought was with if you, anybody's ever closed a house before it is the most excruciating process of documents and like making sure stuff's prepared and we are just like on the tail end of that and then this happened so once again fuck and as my leg is pinned, I'm kind of watching myself. My, I was wearing these nice, sick, uh, actually I'm wearing them right now. I was wearing these sandals, these, these skull flip-flops, my, or slide-ons, my wife does not like them. I was wearing that and I noticed that the sandal was, or the slipper, slip-on was completely rotated on my foot and I noticed that my foot was curved. It was like that. And I was like, okay, so my foot's broken for sure. And it was throbbing pain, but it, this, the adrenaline was going to where it's not like I was, you know, blackout in pain. As I was looking around, I feel a, a tug on my shirt and my shoulder and someone was pulling me. The guys that hit me were trying to pull me out of the, out of the pen in my truck. And I said, get the fuck off me, man. There's two Indian guys. I couldn't understand. They were speaking a different language. I couldn't understand what they were saying. And the only thing they said to me is, do you want water? And I was like, no, get the fuck off me, dude. And they're pulling at me and I pushed them off me and I was like, get the fuck away from me. So they scurry around the front of my truck and go to the other side. So, I mean, I almost, I mean, almost reaffirmed my faith in God. I mean, somehow I was able to like pivot my leg, not pull, but I was able to like turn my leg enough to where my leg like slipped out. Like, I don't know how the fuck it was possible, but I sat there and I noticed that my leg was straight. So thankfully no bones are broken. And I was like, oh my God. But at this point, the shock was starting to fade and the pain was really starting to come in. I mean, like my leg was all locked up. I could barely move my foot. I was pr still pretty sure that I broke my ankle at least at, to the very least. I don't know what still had happened, but I couldn't get out of my car because the fucking door was smashed into the car next to me. The fucking window busted. So I had to get back in my driver's seat, go over the console and get into the passenger seat. Uh, lo and behold, the passenger door opens and there's our friends again, pulling at me, wanting me to get out of the car. And I said, please <laughs> just kind of defeated. Please just leave me. Well, that's what I said. Do you want water? No, I don't want fucking water. Get the fuck away from me. Yeah, I, I got out and I had my leg kind of propped up on the curb and I was sitting on the passenger side of my car. The guys were sitting next to me. I look over to my right and I see the car is completely smashed. The front end of it is completely under my truck. It is fucked. The back end completely fucked. Like I said, lifted up from the car going on. It was, I mean, totaled. I mean, like it's completely totaled. I was so sad. And uh, the guys are kind of just casual casually getting stuff out of their car. And they were like, water, do you need water? I said, I, what are you doing? Where are you going? And they pointed because they were meeting a friend over there. And I'm like, you're not leaving. What are you gonna go inside and have a fucking drink? No, you're just gonna stay here. And I called the cops and I was like, you know, going through the whole thing, going through the whole spiel. Yeah, I was hit. Yep. They asked, you know, what was the make of the car? It was like, it was like a Nissan. He said, what does a person look like? I didn't really gauge this until this moment. I looked at the guy. He said, what does he look like? He's like, yeah, he's like an Indian guy, mid thirties. What's he wearing? I looked over, he had like a plastic 
Hawaiian shirt on that was unbuttoned all the way down to his belly button. His hair was slicked back like fucking Joe Pesci in Casino. And he had the most skin tight silver pants on. And all I could say to the person on the phone was, there's simply no way for me to explain what this man <laughs> is wearing or looks like. I'm like, could you just give a description? I said, look for Willy Wonka in the parking lot. And that's, you'll find him. I mean, that's, he's, he's here. <laughs> so before I even knew it, I was on the hospital stretcher. And I know I shouldn't have felt this way, but I felt like a fucking dumbass. My buddy Imp Lemon, he sat there and he came up to me with his girlfriend. Completely surprised we thought that we were going to hang out. And all of a sudden, <laughs> there's this travesty <laughs> that's happening. I sat there and he just, just kind of like, hey, sorry. I shouldn't have felt embarrassed, but it's one of the things where it's just like, I mean, I, I'm like this obese fucking monster. I look like the fucking orangutan from Jungle Book that Christopher Walken voiced. I look like that on the ground. My legs all fucked. People are coming up, poking at me. These guys are standing by me, just like wondering, you know, you know, like, well, can we leave? <laughs> kind of thing. Like, they look like they just want to fucking go. And he's like, hey, man, sorry. And it's just, it was an awkward interaction. Like, the stretcher lifted up. I'm like, yeah, no, it's no problem, man. He's like, all right, man, well, I'll see ya. And he kind of just does, like, all right, I'll see ya. And is. <laughs> guys the guys who hit me are standing right by him and they also wave goodbye i'm like fuck fuck you fucking waving at me like kind of reminded me of that scene from scary movie 3 where charlie sheen is going to see his wife who was struck by a drunk driver and as he's walking by the drunk driver sitting on the ground says tom i need a ride home <laughs> after he just got done fucking wrecking into this person you know by the time i got to the ambulance i was in pretty bad pain i mean like it was the, the adrenaline had completely worn off and i was just kind of fucked a lot of like tr tremors and like just trembling like the muscle was like just shaking it was really fucked and luckily i went to the hospital and after sitting there for Ever. Uh, we got x-rays and all that stuff done and miraculously no broken bones at all. It's pretty fucking incredible. I mean, I watched my leg get completely smashed into the side of this car and I just was like this some kind of fucking angel looking after me or something. But no, I mean, miraculously it, uh, it's all good. People probably won't even notice I got a hit, but I felt like I, I keep getting messages about it every day. So I wanted to come on here and say, everything is fine. My leg is fucked. It's just, it's sore. You know how it is. It's like, stay off of it, all that kind of stuff. But miraculously, no surgeries are needed. No broken bones. None of that shit. My truck, I'm pretty sure it's completely fucked. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do there, but here pretty soon, it's going to be cool. We're going to be all moved out. All these troubles and stuff are going to be melted away. And honestly, out of such a bad luck event, I had probably the most luck out of anything. I mean, I think about like if I would have been out of the truck and walking, I would have been completely crushed by the back end of my truck that got plowed into the side of the car. So miraculously, it's like I feel like I had the best luck that day and it's cool. But I just wanted to come on here and say we're good. I'm a little tore up, a little beat up. It happens, but I'm fine. It's all good. Thank you for all the messages of people asking how I'm doing. That's been very nice to see that people care if I die or not in this lifetime. A lot of people just asked how the truck was, which, you know, is funny, but slightly hurtful. <laughs> people just wondering, dude, is your truck all right? Or what's going on with that? Dad, I have had several comments about people saying like Sneeko is his gang is out to get me. And I think I saw some people saying too, like the people mad about my Mario movie comments and stuff, which I would believe that too. With some of the comments I get, it's pretty fucking ridiculous. So, you know, if you wish for my dem demise, fuck you. It'll probably happen soon, but fuck you. Also, uh, just as, so I have, I mean, I have time here. We're already recording. More Melvin. Melvin will be coming back. I see people on online too. If you were a fan of the Melvin series, the Melvin's Macabre, that's coming back. I have four other episode ideas for him this year. It's going to be fucking rad. I'll probably be doing a video on Patreon talking more in depth about that. But yeah, so just letting people know Melvin is, we're working on it. It's going to be fucking fun. So thank you guys once again for watching. And also thank you for the caring, all that kind of stuff. But yeah. That's it. Goodbye.